Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look at a unique little game called Desktop Farm, which is a game that actually runs as a wallpaper on your Windows computer. Uh, basically it's a farming simulator, it just runs in the background, and it's a pretty simple little game, but it's a unique little idea. I've had a little bit of a play around with it already just to sort of get my bearings, but I haven't built anything yet. I wanted to be able to go through that with you to show you how it's actually put together. Now, the game's pretty cheap, uh, only costs a few bucks on Steam, at least $2.95 Australian dollars, and I, I think it's really well worth the money. Uh, this, you know, it, it is, it's really simple, but it, it's really quite fun and quirky. And I, I just, yeah, really enjoyed having a little fiddle around with it and watching my farm sort of grow in the background. All right, so let's pull up the game and actually have a look at what's going on. Now, you can see I've got a little icon on my desktop here, and this is just my normal desktop. As soon as I double click on this, the uh, game's gonna open up, and we'll be able to see the, the procedurally generated farm that it's created for me. Now, I just think this is super, super cute, super cool. Uh, I really, really love this idea. I'm not really sure if interactive desktops are much of a thing, but um, this is a really fun way of sort of sprucing up your Windows computer. Now, you can see that I move around the farm just by clicking and dragging the cursor. And my desktop still operates exactly the same way. So I can move my icons around if I want to. Uh, I could also open one of these folders up and there's no problems there. This really just runs in the background and it's, yeah, just sort of does its own little thing. Now, our menu is down the bottom here. And there's a whole bunch of different things to do. Uh, you can plow, you've got to plow before you can build anything. That's for selling things once you actually build them, chopping down trees. And then you've got grass, wheat, strawberries, corn, pumpkins, apples, cows, some sprinklers, uh, ability to demolish things and you do build things that uh, you don't want quite easily. And also fences, roads and a house too. Now, uh, I've sort of, it took me a while to get a map that I really wanted. I wanted to have a nice little pond here, and that's one little grievance I have about it. Uh, to actually get a new map, you need to keep resetting, and that's kind of a long process. I can't work out any simpler way of doing that. But there are a few different options here. There's a nice tutorial. You can change how it's displayed as well. Lots of different languages too, which is really good to see. Um, there's a soundtrack to it as well. I've got that off at the moment so that you can hear me a little bit clearer, but that's some nice little sort of peaceful background music. And there's also ways to pause it. When you do exit it, it sort of saves where you've left off. So you can close it down, put it on another wallpaper, and then open it back up and, and start from where you've, you've sort of left off. Uh, these two little buttons up here, this is sort of indicating the, the weather at the moment. I'm not really sure what this camera does. I click on it and nothing happens. Uh, so maybe I'm missing something there. But it is based off around your, your computer's clock. So this is sort of representing the time of day it is for me at the moment, which is 11.30 in the morning. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is pop down my house. I don't want to put it somewhere with this pond, you know, so I've got a nice little bit of a view. I gotta plow the fields first, so maybe I'll do these spots here. How big does the house actually have to be? All right, that'll fit. Boom. Um, so now I have my home, home sweet home. And what I can do now is start to actually plant some sort of vegetables and some cows and that sort of thing too. Uh, so maybe I'll put some crops just behind the house here, or maybe I'll put them over here, keep things a little bit separate to give me some room to sort of uh, jazz this up a little bit down the track. What's the cheapest? All right, let's pop down some strawberries maybe. Oh, yep, see, I've got to plow first. You can't just pop something straight down. Uh, I'll plow all these things back here. doesn't look like it's letting me put that there because of the tree, but I can chop that down. And it should let me, yeah, cool. Now I can plow that dirt. So let's whack some strawberries down. Boom, 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 boom. Um, let's whack some corn down as well. Boom, 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 boom. And maybe, what else should we finish this off with? Maybe we'll pop some uh, pumpkins down too. And then we can make a nice little vegetable stew or something later with some strawberries as dessert. So you can see as you click, it sort of shows you the grown up version of the plant and then it goes back down. Uh, I assume this is gonna get bigger as it grows. 
there is ways of putting a sprinkler down too. There is natural rain as well. So it does, the rain does turn on and off. I noticed that when I was resetting to try and find a map that I liked, but it does look like you can put a, string, a sprinkler down as well. And that I'm guessing will speed up the process of those plants growing. Now, you can also pop down some cows. So I'm gonna pop them, we'll put them close to home. They can be with pets of ours. Now, I'm going to build a fence first. If you don't build a fence, then the cows just sort of go walk about and they'll wander around everywhere. So if you want to keep them contained, you need to put one of these down. And these are sort of expensive, 25 bucks. So I'm just going to build a sort of small enclosure at the moment just to keep them from wandering off anywhere. But we can always expand upon this a little bit later once we make a little bit more money. Uh, this has ended up being kind of big. Anyway, uh, you know, we, we want to make sure that our cows have the nicest lifestyle possible. We don't want to keep them too caged up. Cool. So still have 300 bucks left. Let's pop a couple of, uh, we'll do three cows in there. And we've still got a little bit of money left over. Uh, so uh, what happens, I'm, I haven't really gotten to that stage yet, but these will grow up and it gets to a point where we can sell them and make a bit of our money back. And there's no, there's no real end game to this, you know, it's just sort of building, you know, selling, changing things up. Um, it's sort of like a fun little meditative exercise to do in the background, I suppose, of a normal life. Probably a good procrastination tool. Anyway, uh, we'll leave this here for now and we'll come back to it in a little while and see how these vegetables have gone over time. Hopefully, and we'll be able to make a bit of our, our money back. So I've left this for a couple of hours now and I've done some slight renovations from the last time we had a look. And you can see that uh, I've gotten to a stage now where I've gotten a few more veggies and they've all grown up a bit. They've gone to this larger size. And what I can actually do now is sell these if I wanted to by going down and clicking this sell button and clicking on them again. And there you go, I made 20 bucks off my strawberries. I noticed that you can't actually sell the crops until they're up to 90% done. And you can see the growth value if you hover over them and see these are at 35, so they're brand new ones, whereas these strawberries are uh, growth 100. I'm not sure how the hydration and all that factors in how quickly they grow, but some of the, the plants seem to grow quicker than others. Uh, I'll go down and have a look at my cows. Uh, one thing I noticed about the cows, they've got this uh, satiation aspect which i think is hunger and thirst maybe i'm at negative 655 so these poor guys aren't doing super well but the value has gone up slightly definitely harder making money off these than it is making money off the plants if you wanted to expand your farm quite quickly uh, but this is what i've achieved and it has been about two hours so you can see it's pretty slow going not that that's necessarily a bad thing because you know this is just going to be running in the background uh, it's not like i'm in a much of a rush and it'll be nice to sort of have this sort of ticking along over time and, and see where it ends up maybe in a month or so. There were a couple of little grievances that I had. Uh, one is that it's quite easy to put things down by accident. So you might have one of these sort of options, particularly the cattle selected and you try and move around and you accidentally put down a whole bunch of cows. Now, clicking and holding will put down multiple. So you can really burn through your entire savings that way quite easily. It also costs money to demolish things. So I made a few mistakes putting down roads and fences and stuff like that. And when you've got to pay to build it and then pay to demolish it, and you end up chewing through all your money that way without really actually achieving anything, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, one thing I did notice too, I actually pulled up the task manager just so I could have a look at what sort of load this was putting on my computer. And you can see it's sitting there. It's around about sort of 14, 15%. So it, it is using quite a bit of the CPU and also my RAM. So you might want to sort of reconsider running this if you're running other things in the background, you know, maybe like Photoshop or playing a game. Uh, you probably want to close this down so you can free up some of that uh, computational power. But just doing your general browsing and that sort of thing, I can't imagine is really going to bother us too much. So that's it for the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully this has been a good opportunity for you to see what the desktop farm is all about. A very simple game, but you know, for a few bucks, definitely worth the money. I can see myself fiddling around with this through bits and pieces, you know, uh, doing more serious things on my computer. I could grow some crops, have a bit of downtime and uh, 
wish that I could be outside maybe at the moment if you're like me and you're stuck in lockdown. Uh, it'd be great if you could leave a like. I'm going to try and review some more games on this channel, really cheap games, so uh, to see what else is out there that's, you know, good value for money. And it'd be great to see you back sometime. Until then, enjoy yourselves, and I'll catch you later.